I'm really excited to be working with the Orpheus Chamber Orchestra and to have this premiere with them at Carnegie Hall as part of their Project 440. It's been a long time that we've been thinking about and working on this project together and it's very exciting to sort of see it come to fruition now in this last week. My piece is called Apart Together. And basically, the, the very first idea I had was about the Orpheus Chamber Orchestra themselves, and it's pretty amazing that they stay together. And how is it that an orchestra without a conductor actually communicates with each other so that they're all together at once? And then I started thinking a little bit more philosophically about what does it mean to play together, to make music as a group versus as individuals. And so a lot of my piece is about gradually unfolding textures where people pop out for little bits and they get to be themselves for a little, little moment and then they come back into the group. You know, I'm really interested that the orchestra is not just a sound making machine, but an orchestra is a group of people. It interacts, it's a community. It's always a very tricky, complicated thing for composers because we spend months and months thinking about these sounds in our own head. And then right before the concert, they suddenly become real and they often aren't quite what we expected. So we go through a process of, of then working with the players. And that's the great thing about Orpheus is that I do actually get to work with all of them very closely in, in sort of sculpting the sounds. Normally players are just there to play the notes on the page, but these players are um, deeply invested in knowing my piece and communicating and they also have very strong ideas about it, which is a pleasure to, to work with players who actually care enough about my music to have their own opinions about it. So that's been really, really amazing. More and more in my thinking, I feel like what is special about the kind of music I make is that it is live. And that this piece will only happen once. It will be there for 10 minutes and then it won't be there anymore. And that, that kind of transience is really special to me, that like we, the 2,000 people that are there, and the 30 people on stage get to have this moment. So that, that element of chance um, and surprise that things will happen differently, this is sort of what I find really interesting and exciting about writing music and about listening to live music.